Yo, what's up everybody? Just downloaded FL Studio 20.5, the latest update from ImageLine. Just gonna do this quick little video highlighting some of the new uh, some of the new features in this update. Some are pretty small, some are a little bigger, but most notably is the full release of Flex. Um, the latest VST that is free for all registered FL users. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, we'll get started by taking a look at that. So from our drop down plugin menu list here, it should be under new and we'll click flex. First thing I'm going to do is change the theme to brown because I think that looks the best and it is scalable. So that's cool. So basically about a month or two ago when this was back in its beta stage, I made a video going pretty in depth about everything you see here. I'm not going to go that in depth again. Um, I'll just leave a link in the description to that video. Uh, but I will I will briefly talk about it. Um, basically what this is is a rompler synth. And what that means is it's pretty much entirely focused on the presets so if you're not like a sound design guy if you don't want to deal with like wavetables or um operators and stuff like that fm synthesis fm synthesis um if you're not really into making your own sounds if you just want good sounds that are ready to use so you can start making music then you'll probably really like flex because um i went through a good portion of these presets and they you know they all sound usable They're, they all sound pretty good um so uh you know depending on the genre of music you make i'm sure you could definitely find a ton of usable sounds uh in flex it comes with six packs right off the bat and you can buy additional ones online and i'm sure they'll add more um as time goes on so basically like i said it's all about the preset but there are there is some flexibility flex get it um you do have an envelope filter envelope and a volume envelope you do have some effects delay reverb and compression uh pitch make this pitch go up and down uh you have a filter and a master filter but probably the most interesting thing is that the macros here, depending on what you uh, what preset you click, they uh, they change. And some of them I have no idea. Like I have no idea what crystal means, and it's just you just gotta um, uh, play around with it. Like what the, what's what's broken. <laughs> So I guess that's so it's to me it sounds like it's detuning it. Yeah, so that sounds like a detune. So yeah, you just gotta play around, see what um uh see what the different macros do. And like I said, each preset is gonna have um different uh different macros. A lot of them repeat like filter and vibrato, reverb and delay. Um, I think this reverb and delay is directly uh, relate connected to the reverb and delay down here, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, that's basically a uh, flex in a nutshell. So I guess think Nexus, think uh, expand, and uh, even Omnisphere, kind of, sort of. Um, where you just it's just really more about the preset and less about a lot less about the sound design okay so moving on uh, citrus has a new preset bank from uh, obeyed hope I'm pronouncing that right um, I really dig these plucks just a little low Yeah, pretty nice sounding stuff. Let's see what kind of basses he has going on. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so all cool stuff. I mean, you can never have enough presets if you ask me, so um, that's cool. And I think Harmless, he also has a new pack in Harmless. Yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah, definitely if you're into EDM and stuff, you'll definitely um, like that. And uh, so, yeah, that's cool. New new presets for Harmless and Citrus. And um, what else we got here? Fruity Wave Shaper is now scalable. You can make it as big as you want. Um, so that's cool. And Blood Overdrive is now native to FL, which I'm not sure why it wasn't before. I know it always, this plugin always gave me problems whenever I was like updating or like changing hard drives or whatever. It, this plugin always gave me problems, but it apparently it won't anymore. Um, it has a new totally new skin and you could change the theme of it um but other than that it's the same old fruity blood overdrive that we all know and love uh, oh yeah so i don't know how many people still use this but um you can now make this bigger fruity scratcher it's not scalable but there's an option to make it bigger. So that is cool if you still use that. Uh, what else? General settings. Yeah, so you have your, um, you could set your default template down here now. Um, I guess that's cool. I don't know. Um, it's still here too, where it normally lives. Uh, from file new, you can just open up a new template from there, but you can change your default template uh, down here. So, um, so yeah, there's that. I wish they would add freaking new themes. Um, it'd be cool if there was like a like a darker theme, like a black and silver or whatever. Um, like Ableton has like what, like four or five different themes. Um, but whatever. Oh, uh, maybe they will one day. Uh, what else? What else is new? Oh, so you could change the maximum, uh, backups to like basic, probably nine, 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 nine. Yeah. So basically have as many backups as you want now I'm not sure what the old limit was um, but there is virtually no limit now so that is cool um, so when um, another new thing they added I need to find a long sample though Okay, so I think, what was the, I wrote it down somewhere. Okay, so if you alt click the sample, it will play the entire sample. So yeah, I guess that's cool if you um so if you have like a really long um sample, uh you can now alt click it and it will play the entire sample instead of just um part of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's cool. Um, really only useful if you have like really long samples. Uh, but um, yeah, there's that. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, there's a plug-in performance monitor. Just, just basically. It's just basically like a CPU monitor for each and every plugin you have open, including uh, plugins on the channel rack and the mixer. Um, so you can kind of uh, keep track of how much CPU each um, each plugin is is taking up, and you can freeze it to get a better look at it. And um, I mean, I feel nowadays like computers are so so powerful that um, this really isn't an issue. Probably isn't a big issue for most people uh, these days. So if you delete a plugin, it, it now asks you if um, you no longer want to see this this little prompt. Are you sure you want to delete? Uh, you can click don't show this in the future. Um, so there's that. Uh, I think um, uh, Z, what's it called? Z game editor, the little video editor thing for uh, FO Studio has a bunch of new uh like presets and stuff I'm not gonna uh, I don't really use that too often I'm not gonna get into that but um, there are some new presets for Z game the visual editor um, there's some new stuff for Mac users I'm on a PC so I don't know and uh I think did I cover I mean I know I didn't cover everything but I think those are the main things um yeah not a lot of huge things but one very huge thing is this new awesome plugin so yeah um this update is pretty much uh about flex and um like I said, I think this is a really great plugin. Uh, I'm not a super sound design guy, so I'll definitely be um, using this. And uh, yeah, that's uh, FO Studio 20.5.